message from Father's heart of love for the children of God, for my brothers and sisters. My dear, sweet, precious child, blessed are you because you have believed that there shall be a performance of those things spoken to you. Rejoice knowing that all things I have spoken have come to pass. They must, for I have spoken them into existence before the foundation of the world. I ordained all my good will to pass, and it comes to pass as I have spoken it to be. I am. All things exist and come to pass by my hand. Fear not, neither be afraid, for what can man do to you? For he cannot harm or touch who you are in me. You are eternally sealed in Christ Jesus. You know not the day or hour, when or how all these things which I have spoken come to pass. You trust in me. You trust in my word. You exalt my word. You raise up and lift up my word. I stand. I speak. I perform. It comes to pass. The word is exalted. The word is victorious. The word is triumphant. I am the word. I am the word become flesh. The word is birthed. The word is settled in heaven. All my perfect will shall come to pass. I write my word upon your heart and you bring it to pass. You become one with the word. The word becomes flesh in you. According to your faith in my word, it comes to pass. Your faith is not in your own faith. Your faith is in the one who has spoken. Your faith is in the one who supplies you with the faith to accomplish and achieve all things according to his word. The word lives. The word speaks. The word lives in you. The word speaks in you. The word is manifested in you. The word lives through you. Stand and speak the word and be not moved. Be not moved by emotions, circumstances, feelings, or the words of others. For any word not in line with my word is not a word of life, but a word of death. The letter kills, the spirit gives life. Each word spoken out of the mouth and life of man is death and not life-giving and brings forth no fruit. Each word spoken out of the mouth of God or his prophets or his child indwelt with his spirit and word is established, life-giving, victorious, and prosperous and brings forth much fruit. Speak forth my word and truth for it is salvation unto your soul and deliverance to the captives. Set free those who have been exiled in darkness and bring them into the marvelous light of my word. And bring them forth into the marvelous, marvelous light of my word and truth. How, Lord, how? Speak forth my word as I utter it through you. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or tremble or be afraid of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. You shall speak forth word to those who are weary, to those who are scared, to those who are tired, to those who have failed. Speak unto children, speak unto men. Open your heart and my light shall shine unto them. Bring forth your burdens, cast all your cares. Your Father knows what you have need of, and nothing catches me unawares. If you see only me and focus on my word, all things I have spoken shall be given birth. I bring life through you unto them to see. Only those who have been broken can be used by me. No flesh shall glory in my presence. Only a surrendered heart yielded to my word. Only a surrendered heart yielded to my word shall bring forth the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The time has come, precious children, 
I've been preparing you in a secret place, a hidden place, a broken place, a yielded place, a hindered place, a place of briars, thorns and thistles, and in that place you have been shaped, pruned, broken, consumed. You have been lovingly crafted by the Father's hand. I bring you forth now into the promised land. The land of streams and flowing rivers and mountains of grace. The land of wide open places and fields of grace. You shall run with joy and liberty. Your Father has come and set you free. Rejoice, my children, rejoice, my precious ones. The time has come to look and see the grace of your Father, the true meaning of liberty. Teachings of men have captivated your heart and kept you captive. Now come forth and undone from those chains of sin, your Father has released you and let you in, into the inner court where you shall hear my voice, into my presence where grace abounds. Precious child, fear not, I am the way, you know not the way, I declare it, I speak it, I bring it forth, only come unto me, rest in my arms of loving grace, as I hold your heart next to mine. I hold your heart next to mine, and bring you to this place, one step at a time, in step with me, moment by moment you shall see, each step of trust sets you free and brings you closer to the Father and me. We are one within each other, and you are ours. By the Father's mighty hand, the Son has delivered you, and the Spirit operates by his command. Blessed children, fear not, my precious ones. I hear your hearts, your cries, your pleas, your struggles and pains, your miseries. Nothing can harm you and me. You are now eternally sealed, never to part. We are one. Uphold my word, exalt my truth, and you will rise up, and I shall live and be exalted in you. All things I have spoken have come to pass. I have spoken you, and here you are. You question, you doubt. You moan and you fear. Stop, precious child, as I draw you near. You have no longer fear to worry, my dear. You are no longer abandoned, alone, and afraid. You are eternally delivered, loved and saved, my dear one. You are children of the light now, so live in this truth. I have delivered you from the darkness and brought you into me, and I have brought me into you. I inhabit your life, dear one, your very breath. Each word I speak is truth. There is no darkness or shadow of turning. I hide not myself, I reveal myself unto those who are broken and of a contrite heart. I shall bring them by a way they have not known, as I restore the children who had wandered from the sheepfold. I, the Good Shepherd, came for them. I love them and I give my life for my sheep and precious lambs. I hold them tightly and securely in my loving embrace and they hear my voice as I gently speak to them. They know my comforting arms and my loving embrace. I hold them firmly and lovingly. As I hold them firmly, they often grow restless and start to struggle in my arms, seeking to escape my firm, loving grip. And I cannot let them go. I hold them so close. They can't understand why I won't let them go and run around as they please the precious little lambs. I shall soon. When they have been trained to know and see that this grip of love sometimes may cause pain. 
this is to mold them into my heart and loving embrace in my precious holy name. Once they have been molded into my heart of love and grace, no matter where they go, they will not ever be apart from my embrace. This is their home, my heart. The heart that bled and died in their place is the heart that keeps them close in amazing grace. When my heart is their home, they shall not ever wander my will, my word, my plan, they will not need to ponder. When they have become molded into me as one, one heart, one life, one breath, one in the I am, wherever they are they shall hear my voice, my embrace shall be with them, and my sheep can run free by choice. As I release my precious children, my precious lambs, our hearts are now molded as one. They shall run freely and obediently as the sun. No need to fear that they shall ever lose their way. My sheep hear my voice in my embrace of love. They eternally stay. Come, precious lambs, run into my embrace. Feel the comforting arms of your Father as I bring you into all my grace. The Faithful Words of Promise Read John 17, declaring how the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are one, and we are one in the Son, the eternal life and love of the body of Christ united with him as one. Matthew 10, 26-27 So have no fear of them, for nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, or kept secret that will not become known. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the light, and what you hear whispered in the ear, proclaim upon the housetops. Psalm 119, 49-50 Remember fervently the word and promise to your servant, in which you have caused me to hope. This is my comfort and consolation in my affliction, that your word has revived me and given me life. Psalm 119, 21 I will confess, praise, and give thanks to you, for you have heard and answered me, and you have become my salvation and deliverer. Psalm 108, 12-13 Give us help against the adversary, for vain is the help of man. Through and with God we shall do valiantly, for he it is who shall tread down our adversaries. Psalm 112 His spiritual offspring shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father God. This is your doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. We give you praise and honor and glory. We thank Father for gathering us, his remnant body of children, the body of Christ, united and knit together in love, encouraging one another, blessing one another, lifting each other up in the word. Precious brothers and sisters, how glorious you are the beautiful, precious body of Christ manifested at this time, united in spirit, love and truth, united in the Word. The Word has become flesh in each and every one of you. The Lord is our light, our salvation, our hope, our deliverance, our all in all. I am. Thank you.